Day two here on the Isle of Lewis and the weather has changed quite dramatically. This is probably more of the stereotypical weather that people expect when they think of the Outer Hebrides. This kind of wild, rugged landscape with a lot of wind, a lot of rain. It is, it is pretty wild today, but do you know what? Being here today in this weather, you cannot come to the Outer Hebrides and not experience this. And to get this today, I'm almost finding it very exhilarating because it is such a contrast to yesterday's beautiful sunny skies and, and lovely warm weather. But this is what the Scottish Highlands and the Islands experience on a regular basis. And like I say, coming here and experiencing this is just part of the experience and part of the journey. And it is just... I'm loving it to be honest and today we're going to go and explore a lot of the historical monuments and the kind of historical famous kind of places that a lot of tourists go to in the northwest of Lewis and because it is so wild and so rugged today we will really get a sense of how people who used to live here hundreds of years ago you know how what they had to deal with and what they had to cope with when the weather was bad and I feel almost like we will be kind of going in their footsteps and going back to how they lived and I just think it's going to add more of an authentic touch to today's video and I can't wait to get out there and do some exploring. <laughs> the stones that are the Kalnash standing stones. It always fascinates me how in the olden days they somehow managed to find stones and rocks this big and put them on their end to stand up tall. It must, I don't, it honestly blows my mind about how they managed to do this. The weather today really makes this journey into the historical past of Lewis so much more enjoyable. And with the first stop being this stone, I'm excited to see what else is to come. Lewis. We're just kind of driving along and we see this kind of historical looking building just off the road and we've just been in to explore it and it is amazing. It's like this free museum full of artefacts. I'm going to show you it now. Never been here before and it was such a hidden gem to discover. So this place 
this is called a shelling or a shilling. I'm not quite sure how to, to spell it, but it's basically a hut or collection of hill slash moor dwellings. And it also refers to a mountain pasture used for grazing of cattle in the summer. So I'm guessing this is the kind of place that people would have stayed years ago when they were dealing with, you know, grazing cattle and everything up on, on the hillside here. But what I think is, is amazing is it kind of takes you away from modern life. It says here, imagine a time of no tarmac roads, cars, ferries or planes, no electricity, telephones, running water, toilets or, frig or freezers. A time before computers, the internet and mobile phones, there were no fences and people walked everywhere or went by horse transport and bicycles were not common. to find somewhere like this completely different and away from the life that we all lead nowadays the hustle and bustle of 21st century life in in modern Britain it's just you know coming to these islands and kind of experiencing and kind of learning about how they used to live and how harsh it was over here and still sort of is in the winter I just find it fascinating it's so simplistic and just so far away from the modern day world I mean, just imagine sleeping in this, in this cold stone kind of bunker of a, of a house in the middle of the moorland, looking after your sheep and cattle because there is no fences to keep them within the land. We have actually just been speaking to a local man who just stopped us to have a chat and ask us where we're from and, and yeah, he was, he was very, very nice. And he told us quite a lot about these kind of places and how this place is quite made to look like quite a romantic dwelling and quite a romantic life here in the, the Scottish West Coast but he was saying it wasn't like that at all it was very harsh, very hard work but you know you kind of expect that I mean could you imagine living and working in this small kind of shed for weeks on end over the summer months looking after your cattle it must have been really tough but what a great find and we're off to see if we can find some more historical locations as we head towards our base for tonight. that you can find cool places like this to explore for free. This is Sawbost Norse Mill and Kiln and well, I didn't even know this place existed. I have driven past the kind of road to this many times but we were recommended to come here this morning by a friend and I mean it is amazing that you can come to places like this for free and this place is so well preserved and again it gives you such a good idea of the history of this place and the way that life was in Lewis about a hundred or so years ago. I just think it's fascinating and despite the weather today being horrible and it raining down quite heavily now, finding places like this on this wet and miserable day just make it so much more special. And like I said, to find somewhere free to come like this it is amazing and you just don't get this anywhere else in Scotland. Despite 
despite this being the third time I've been here, it is not disappointing and today alone I've been to three places already that I've never been to before. And tonight, if the weather clears up, we're going to be going somewhere else that I've never been to before to do some sunset photography. It's only day two here and already it's been an unforgettable trip and I cannot wait to see what else this day and this week has in store for us. Well, the weather has fair turned and my plans for tonight have also potentially changed. So the weather forecast is not very great for tonight but this location here is quite near to where we're staying tonight and while I was down there I saw so many good compositions for sunset. There was also a little loch beside that mill which had a rowing boat on it which would be good again for sunset so depending on the weather and how tired we are we may actually come back here tonight for tonight's sunset shoot and do the sunset shoot that I had planned for tonight on Thursday. Thursday night because the weather's due to be better then and I think it would be a waste travelling quite far to a location to shoot it when the weather might not be nice. So we've got one more historical location we want to visit today so we're off there now before we grab something to eat and head to our home for the night. So I'll see you all when we get there. Here we are at the Carloway Broch. It's time to go and face the rain once again. gale out there but what I think is amazing is the moment I came into this broch the wind just stopped completely stopped at the centre of here it was just it was amazing because this wall here is like a double wall so it just shows you that from building this in the past that they managed to kind of withstand the harsh weather here by building places like this and literally the minute I came in the gate it was like I was somewhere completely different that the wind had just ceased I'm now in between both of the walls on a, on a nice kind of old staircase here and from within this staircase you can really hear the wind battering against this wall oh, it is wild out there right now really really wild it's windier than I expected it to be today but experiencing this is so exhilarating and kind of seeing how these buildings kind of withstand this weather I think it's fascinating you know these were built hundreds of hundreds of years ago and still today they are standing and has withstood so many storms it's just, it is mind blowing. This is how windy it is outside of the rock. And you can see when I was in there that you literally were completely sheltered from it. <laughs> That is pretty spectacular. Anyway, 
This is the end of vlog two from our Isle of Lewis and Harris trip. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Tonight I will be out photographing the sunset somewhere. I've given you a few ideas of where we might be going. I really hope that the weather improves before this evening. But for now, we're off to have a nice relaxing couple of hours, check into where we're staying tonight and just, you know, have a little bit of a rest and hopefully dry off after this crazy morning out in the rain exploring all these historical monuments around the north and west of, of Lewis. So yes, thank you all again for watching and I will see you all again next time. Photography gods are, are not on my side tonight. I'm in the Isle of Lewis with this beautiful loch and scene in front of me right now.